Hello ladies and gentlemen, Blades here with the Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary featuring our new series, Saharan Adventures. Now, this series is going to focus on a couple of things. I'm going to be using the Saharan set the entire time whenever we're in this series and I'm going to be trying to explain to you guys or help you guys with how to use it, when to use it, and to tell you why it's my favorite set of all time. So first off I want to start with a story. This story, I might have said this during the live stream. If you guys tuned into the live stream, awesome. That was so much fun. And uh, if you didn't remember, that's fine. We can You can catch us every time in the link in the description. It's every Saturday. And the, you, the link is www.twitch.tv slash bladesmind. So check us out on Saturdays. We'll have a live stream and it's lots of fun. So make sure you guys check that out on Saturdays. But I'm not sure if I mentioned this story, but I don't think I did on the live stream. But a while back... Uh, maybe two-ish months ago, I used the Saharan set exclusively. That was the only set I ever used. And to counter this, I, I, I started getting to the point where it was really uh, kind of boring because I'd, whenever I'd try and swap out of the Saharan set, I'd always go run out, die, or, you know, got not get as many kills as I'm, I was used to or as I wanted to. And then I'd get frustrated and swap back the Saharan set. Now, I finally got so frustrated with this, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not learning, okay? I'm just doing the exact same thing. So in order to stop myself from, keep, from uh, continuing to use the Saharan set, I sold my Fez. <laughs> So it was pretty drastic, but it really did help. I got into this massive rut where I just couldn't do anything but Saharan set. And so I sold it, I sort of branched out, got a little more experience, fell into a rut with the ambassador knife dead ringer combo, but that's for another time. Um, and so I sold it because I was so into it. That's, that's how powerful this set was. It was really awesome to me. Now, I hear oftentimes, well, you know, most people are pretty bad. They don't hear the decloak anyway. You know, what's the use of using this Saharan set? And my response is, there might be a couple times throughout this commentary when I decloak literally right behind someone, and there's enough background noise to cancel that out. Now, I don't care how bad you are. There is no way, unless you have no sound on, that you will not hear a dead ringer cloak decloak right behind you. So the Saharan set that that decloak really does help. Now it maybe it's not going to help you against the really bad players, but the people you really need help on are the people who are good, right? So that's where it helps, is not the people who are bad, you'll still, you know, do the same thing against them, but it'll help you against the people who are good and who would normally pick up on the fact that you just decloaked. So that's the why I use it, okay? Now, how to use it. This is, uh, it's... It, it all boils down to one key fundamental aspect of the set. Now, that aspect is patience. With Saharan set, you have the ability to link together massive chain stabs and have no one ever find out. However, you have to be patient. If you go lose your disguise on a stupid move, it's not a good thing. You really, really, really need to be patient. So that's that's the first thing you have to be able to do in order to use this set, is be very patient and wait for good opportunities. Uh, and secondly, you have to be able to recognize when the proper time is to enter a battle and when the proper time is to exit a battle. So if you keep going in full-fledged the entire time, the entire fight, you keep going, 
it starts to get, you know, pretty obvious that something's not right. If someone turns around one moment and there's five people behind him, and then he turns around two seconds later and there's two, <laughs> it's a pretty good indication that uh, you are a spy. And so you have to know your limitations and not push it to the extreme. You can link together massive chain stabs, but you have to be patient and you have to know when you should exit. All right, guys, that was basically just the introductory. We'll cover future topics in the series. Leave me a like, guys. It really helps me out, lets me know you guys are interested in this series. And we're winding down on the gameplay. This is one life. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's on SD Doomsday. So take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. Peace. Now, I will probably now have the Wednesday video be uploaded to HGT. Uh, and I thought about this, and I decided...